Good morning from the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. We came here to see Tutankhamun's treasures and many more treasures. So it pays to have the Cairo Pass because you can indeed skip all uh, lines and the guards will let you pass. And if you come here really, really early, like as soon as they open, you can enjoy it yourself. You can go straight to the second floor where there is Tutankhamun and see him first before masses of people are coming and uh, the museum is so large that i spent here yesterday the entire day <laughs> not enough time so tickets from 8 30 and it will be opened at 9 until 5 this is the schedule right now here you can get audio guides and here a lot of checkups and we are inside it's extremely hot and one more check here and one more day 9 20 inside the museum it's already packed with tours so you might want to come and wait in front of the gate for when it opens and here already the sarcophagus is are displayed. The sarcophaguses here, the tombstones, are belonging to priests and dignitaries and many of them had such a false door in front. So it's interesting that they made such entrances just to avoid the thieves finding the actual entrance and they are very elaborate and beautiful so this is a false door of a priest not a pharaoh but the art is so amazing look on this wall here they are offering the cows you have the mortuary boats all the animals and here on this side I really love this the flow of this the animals the ducks here lotus flowers And then this man carrying the ducks like this. And here. This one is keeping the duck quiet with his hand. So it is really full of people, full of groups. Everybody has a guide, so you can just listen to what they are saying. And in my case, I'm really happy that I'm not in a tour because I can completely take my time and I'm going to spend the entire day in here observing everything, all these details and the beautiful art. So actually, maybe it's better you come here without a guide and not in a tour. I really love it, how precise everything is done here. It's so clean if you think it was sculpted Stone. These are just hieroglyphs to write the names and see how much detail is put into this birdie here. I mean, it could be done so much simpler to understand what's written, but they put so much effort and detail and everything so stylized and beautiful.
And this is a statue of King Djoser, the one who made the first pyramids. And look at the faience behind him. What a beautiful wall he has. Okay, das ist hier die Originale. Steht der König Josef, der kommt auf dem Schiff in der Mitte da. Stammt aus seiner Schiff in der Mitte in der Mitte in Sakara. Das war ja unser 700 Prozent. Kein Wunder, wenn die Fahrt noch gut gehalten sind. Ein Kopftuch unterhalb befindet sich mit einer Brücke. Das gehört zu seiner Tracht als ein König. Ein Kopftuch oder eine Brücke und ein Bart. Auch wieder ein Symbol für Weißen. Wenn noch Teil abgeschlossen ist. Schnurrbart. Hier ist es sehr gut, die alten Ägypter versuchen, die Bilder zu sehen. Vermutet man, wenn die Augen heute noch abgeschlagen sind, dass mit Glas, Fluss oder Kristall eingelegt haben. Man sieht das nachher, zum Beispiel bei Rachotev und Nefret, oder noch einmal eine Standbild von einem Oberpriester dieser Kaiber. Wie dieser Glas oder dieser Kristall oder dieser Glas äh, oder so was es eben versucht, man etwas Natur auszusehen. And King Joser is actually wearing a wig and on top of the wig a headscarf and a fake beard. So everything that you see Imagine that they are wearing wigs and scarves and fake beards. <laughs> the oldest life size statue known. And look at the tiles here. Hieroglyphs here are also so precise and beautiful. Part of a false door of a priest of Ra. Okay, I was telling you that these are ducks, although I noticed that the shape is goose and not ducks. So now we have the confirmation. So those were real paintings of the time. I can't stress enough how happy I am not to be in a tour because you get shoveled from room to room at the speed of the tour guide and you really can't enjoy myself. I am taking my time and taking pictures in big detail. So I would really recommend you to come here and spend one day. And if you want to know more, you can choose which guide speaks your language and listen to them. And I can even wait until the groups leave to have the rooms to myself.
de Deus. Encontramos primeiro a estátua de Quiox sem cabeça. Desde que Deus se manda buscar, mudou a cabeça de ele. Encontramos a cabeça de Corona Roja, do Bajo Egipto. 5,000 years old statues. That were found in Saqqara. So here you see how she is smelling the lotus flower. And this we observe in many, many paintings. And here to understand that we talk about the woman, her boob is outside of the dress. It's so nice how each statue has its own pedestal. How they get boobs to know we are talking about the woman and then no boobs when there's a man doing the work. The one on the left is preparing a goose. A man cleaning a jar and then and preparing food. And then look at these sandals. Exactly what I'm wearing right now is held by this man. Here, notice the size of the women compared to a man. Goddesses. Here, with the sun on her head, you can see how it is. As you can see written here on the cartouche is the name of Menkaura, the king that built the third and last pyramid. And he has here goddess on his side. Amazing! It's first time for me to see something made of wood that remains from that time. Required to shave their heads 
and wear line and clothing and leopard skins. And the king was involved in selecting high priests. So look, this is the leopard skin that he is wearing and that's how we know he's a priest. 